I'm sorry to say, but it's time for these to go. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be switching up my binders. I'm not completely changing everything about my binders, but it's time to reorganize things a little bit. As you might be able to tell from the very dramatic introduction, I will be switching from A5 binders to an A4 binder for my 17 collection. It's a big step <laughs> that I don't know I'm ready for, but I don't have a choice. And then for my TXT and BTS collections, I'm going to be splitting some things up as well, just to give some room for growth for my collections. So these are the binders I will be using. This is the same binder that I already have for my BTS and TXT collection. It is uh, uh, this brand, the Iselt, and this is the reference for 9703. And it is for a uh, three centimeter large, right? And this is what I have for my BTS and TXT collections. So I'll be splitting things up a little bit and using this extra binder. And then for my 17 collection, I'll be using the same brand, but it's uh, the this reference, 55299, and it is six centimeters large. So you can very much tell that it's double the width and it's also like longer uh in terms of like the uh the front of the binder so yeah i mean it's much bigger and it's because i just have a lot of 17 cards and i don't want to be splitting things up into multiple binders for them so i'm gonna be relying on this really huge binder even like the rings are super big i'm like oh my god i didn't realize it was going to be like this big of a difference but anyways and i wanted to use a binder like this for txt so now i'm like well i'm kind of glad i only got one to try out first because <laughs> i don't think i want txt in something this big but yeah but these ones are really nice a really nice size though but they're kind of like small i wish there was like an in-between size but I haven't really seen it or it's like pretty expensive and I am being cheap <laughs> because binders is like expensive, right? And I don't want to be wasting binders. So yeah, I'll just be taking off uh, the little things because I hate those. They're pretty easy to take off. Okay. Also, this came damaged, but anyways, I could not be bothered to return it because I already had like something going wrong with the bingo binder where like it didn't arrive for like some reason. So I'm getting a refund, but I had to like order them again. Oh my god, this NTSMR, but anyways. But <laughs> while I do this, I just wanted to say that I'll probably be filming this mm, in like different clips just because the 17 stuff alone is going to take me like a long time and in order of the video though i'll do txt first then bts then 17 because txt is going to take me the shortest amount of time i think and then 17 is going to take me forever so yeah let me just get into it and uh <laughs> just get this done with because there's a lot to sort through Oh my god, okay, it's done. Bye. <laughs> okay, so for my TXT binder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all of the bigger inclusions and I'm going to put them in this big binder. Uh, I'm going to use this bigger binder because I'm also going to put some 17 bigger inclusions in it. But I don't really want to be playing with like 17 bigger inclusions right now. So I'm not going to do that on camera. But I'm just going to put like my text bigger inclusions in that. So I can split this binder up. Also, I'm filming this after I film the 17 clip. So um, this was supposed to be for my 17 binder. But uh, the rings are too thick for like my 9 pockets. But everything that is not 9 pockets uh, do kind of like fits fine in it. So I'm like, okay. Also, I haven't flipped through my Texty binder in a little bit, but I have taken out uh, my mini photo cards because I'm trying to downsize. So I'm trying to sell those. So if you want a complete set of all of the Shine Together merch and everything, <laughs> head on to my Instagram. But yeah, I feel like every time, like, 
<laughs> Big inclusions just do not bring me uh, that much joy, but I do like completing it for Yondron, so... And it's never like super like a ton of stuff, right? So I feel fine, but it does feel bulky in this uh, main binder, so... So I'm splitting it up and yeah, it feels a bit nicer right now to have that out of the way. Actually, I want to put this at the front because it's a OT5 picture and it's cute. It's also hollow, but I don't feel like I don't think you can tell very well <laughs> from this angle. But yeah, so. The page are still like a little bit of a pain to get in this binder, but they don't uh, fold like uh, you will see if you watch the 17 section as well. Uh, yeah, that was like bending and stuff and I was like, oh my god, just because the holes of the pages are just smaller. So you just have less leeway uh, with everything. I do have still to do it one by one because <laughs> it's too hard otherwise. Oh my god, I literally tried this earlier to see if it would fit and it was uh, like working out so much better than me trying to do this on camera. I'm like, oh my god, this is why I don't want to do bigger inclusions. Uh, <laughs> not by myself. But yeah, you see, it's just like a little bit harder to move the pages, but since I don't flip through my bigger inclusions really, uh, it feels fine. Okay, <laughs> finally getting there. But yeah, this is only like album bigger inclusions because the only like non-album bigger inclusions that I keep in my binder are these two like this new like fairy ticket from Season's Greetings and the Shine Together bookmark thingy, which uh, I mean I could have left in the other binder honestly because it's only like it's still like pretty small. But I guess if it's like something where I have like a third ticket or something, I'll, then I'll put it in a three pocket, like the horizontal three pockets and put it in my other binder just so you can stay with like all of the other non-album stuff. But yeah, but for now, it'll be fine here. Honestly, I should just put this at the front of the binder, honestly, because for now I just put in like an extra Yondren postcard that I had. But honestly there, let me just put this in there as well. <laughs> okay, we'll see if it stays put, but I think it's kind of cute and uh, at least I have something at the front of this binder. And also I can put this where it's not, just, it can like actually flatten itself a little bit maybe. But yeah, okay. <laughs> That's it for the TXC binder. That was super quick and not super involved. All right, so for the BTS binder, what I have to do is just like split my album things and my non-album things because you know it's getting pretty full right now in this binder and obviously you know with all the solo albums and everything the album side of things is going to grow thicker and i want to have the space for that so all of my non-album things are gonna start from here from memories and then dvds and just like random things and everything um and then i will still keep japanese photo cards in this binder because i mean there's only three pages so it's fine and then all of the solo albums and everything before splitting that up i do want to add a page for proof so uh obviously they released the collector's edition of proof so there's more photo cards i have secured the album photo cards so what i'm gonna do is go i'm gonna have one page only for namjoon though just because like it's a little bit more expensive but yeah, so I'll have all of the album photo cards on one page and then everything that is Lucky Draws for the benefit on the next page. So for this page, 
I think I want to have the With Us Global in the middle because I really like it a lot. And then I'll put the okay i'll put this one at the top actually this is the with us japan holographic prada benefit and then i have bought the hype inside lucky draw so i'll put it here and then i'll put this one here and then and these are all lucky draws so i'm gonna put those oh my god <laughs> it's on the wrong page i'm gonna put all those on this side so like they kind of match not really but it's fine oh my god i'm doing this literally like the ast the astronaut came out yesterday and it's so good and everything but you know emotions have been running high for the last couple of days and uh the concert the corpse the concert was amazing as well just like the performance and everything and i'm just like oh my god so yeah it's just been uh <laughs> just been an emotional time so I think I'm gonna go about it like this and then I actually have two of these so this, these are the pieces that went in the set, right? and I'm just gonna put this one here the extra one just so I have a 7 pattern and I don't have like a 6 pattern but yeah, so this is how it's gonna go and I'm gonna put some fillers I don't have many of these left so I don't know if I'll be able to do uh, all of the things I want to do this in this binder, but I'll try, I'll try. All right. So, and I do want to keep jeans for the cards because I pulled both of these. Also, I feel like, you know, obviously at the time I didn't realize, but now that, you know, we know he's going to the military very soon and that he was supposed to go in June initially, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I am never passing with these cards ever. And then yeah, here I'll put the two collector's edition for the cards for Namjoon. That'll be cute. And then here, here I'll put the Hive Lucky Draw. I'm not going to put a template for it either. And then for the other spaces, there's a sticker Lucky Draw, which I'm like, I might get it just to fill up the page. But I'm not sure and then I do have I do want to get the like actual like Weaver's Brother benefit but it's like so expensive so I'm like I don't know maybe one day and then there's also a Busan exhibition lucky draw so we will see and then they have the exhibition like ticket where they had like they did a drawing but I'm like I didn't want to buy that just because I'm like there's I'm, I can't see Namjoon's face on that it's just a drawing so I was like I don't think I'm gonna get it right but yeah so that was the only thing I wanted to change in terms of album stuff I think um uh, this is all of my astronaut stuff if you want to see my video on that and then all right i'm gonna take out all of my non-album things and put them uh in this empty binder oh and i'm gonna leave all of my uh bigger album inclusions in this i had an empty pocket here i don't know why <laughs> but anyways i actually had two extra pockets and that's for the di-con uh merch that's coming out in november and then I have the old DI concept, well, not the old DI concept, but like the first time they did the like, oh, mini binder thing where you get like a full set, oh my god, this is not centered, a full set of like all the members and stuff, right? I do still have jeans on this and I took them out of my binder, but then I still have, I still have jeans on hand and then I have jeans unclaimed in my group order for the new one. So I think I'm gonna like add them back in, right? Oh my god. And then this is like kind of like random things and everything. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna go in there. Just chill. And then, okay, this is also random stuff. <laughs> which I'm like, I don't know where to put. Uh, I have the butter uh, hype lucky draw coming in. And I wanted to put it like in the butter like section. But I also have no space in my butter section. So I'm just gonna put it here. And then this is also like a ticket thing, so I was like, it kind of like will fit together if I put it here. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. And then 
All right, so this is for the photo books, like me, myself, and I uh, photo books. So initially, there was only I was gonna put six photo cards here for Namjoon from his like individual photo book, but now there is the group photo book that they re they're releasing now which I thought they would release in June, but now obviously I'm like, oh, they probably wanted to release it like as a seven, like right now, right? Which also makes me think like, oh, are they gonna do season's greetings or not uh, this year, right? But anyways, let me move on. But yeah, there's going to be, there's three random Namjoon photo cards from his own photo book. And then there's one photo card from the group photo book. And then there's one Polaroid in the group photo book. And then there's the set photo card that you get in his own photo book in any case. And I have three of those, so I'm just gonna keep two and put them in the corners and just have a cute little seven pattern. So, okay, then this is where I'm gonna start adding things. Okay, let me add one pocket here. And then I'm gonna put this. And then I'm gonna add another pocket for DVD things. And then I'll explain what I wanna do. And then this is also concert stuff. And then these are all of my memories things. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out just because I know uh, that I have those both secured. So I'm just gonna take this out. Okay, and I'm running out of templates, so. I need them. Those are still on the way. Never know when I'm gonna get it. But anyways, so I have secured also the uh, Speak Yourself DVD for the card from the Soul Final. And I didn't really know where to put it because chronologically the Soul Final obviously happened before like all of these, uh, like all of this stuff. But then they're only releasing it now. So I was like, I don't really know like where I'm going to put it. So I've decided because here it's like concert stuff and then there's like masters and fan meet is I'm going to only do like one page for concerts and one page for master and fan meet. So I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to keep this here for now. And then for this, Mm. Do I want to put it? Wait. Yeah, I did one page extra for no reason, actually. <laughs> I'm like, hello. I confused myself. Okay, okay. So then uh, this is the master. And uh, yeah, so for master things, well, I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna put it like this. But I do want to get like order masters and fan meet PCs. It's just a little bit harder to get. So I'm just taking my time with that. So for now, uh, I don't remember which one was the DVD. This was the Blu-ray and this was the DVD. So for now, it's going to stay like that. But then I will probably add other ones as I get them, right? And then, so I'm going to take this out. And I'm actually going to keep all of these on this page because this is all like map of the soul one stuff and like obviously like it was the concert ticket thing and then this was the photo book and this was the dvd and this was the blu-ray so it's a bit all over the place in terms of like what these things are but i was like you know what it's fine so i'm gonna keep them all on one page since it's all for the same concept And then, uh, okay, let me take things out. So for this, I do want to have it like this. And then I'm going to have the wing stuff here. And then I'm going to have permission to dance here. And then here I'm going to have the Speak Yourself DVD. Put this here and then okay have enough for this put this here and yeah i 
I'm pretty sure that for concerts and stuff, they're going to have more things for the Permission to Dance concert. And then I assume that they're going to release like at least a DVD for it. And then I assume that they might release something for the Busan concert as well. So then it can all go on this page and I can just have like everything uh, concert related on here. Uh, but yeah, so... I think that's the only things I wanted to change for this binder. Let me see. Uh, yeah, okay, let me put this there. <gasps> I don't have enough! Okay, so I'm not gonna put anything. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, this is gonna be the photo box. This is just random stuff, random stuff, random stuff. Okay, so this is it for the BTS binder. Alright, so I guess that before uh, putting things away, I'm gonna have to take photo cards out of my binders, <laughs> which I don't really look forward to. But basically my binders, I have album photo cards uh, that are from uh, just order photo cards up until Ataka. And then this is face person onwards and then these are non-album photo cards so as you can see it's just getting super super crowded and i'm just gonna take things out and i don't know talk a bit about my vision of things i'm gonna have to receive all of these as well but i don't really want to do that right now also because i don't have enough sleeves <laughs> but anyways so yeah, basically I had started my Seventeen collection in a mini binder because in my mind it was going to be like a super chill, super selective collection and then uh, it just went further from, <laughs> further from being a chill, casual collection as you can possibly imagine very quickly. I'm almost done with all of Ming Hao's <laughs> photo cards so Korean album photo cards so I don't want to talk about it okay so these order photo cards I'm just gonna set aside for now for when I'm going to be sorting all of his order photo cards that I have on hand but I never got around to put in this binder like this binder was already full like it was already pretty full and like I don't know like the edges are like pressing together I don't like how it sits I don't want to hurt my photo cards damage them just because I want like an aesthetic for pocket but yeah so I'm gonna wait to put those away in this new uh, nine pocket binder and then I'm just gonna sort from a node onwards just because I pretty much have everything for that uh, already otherwise right but yeah and then the four pocket was like really nice in the beginning because I was like okay I'm gonna collect Ming Hao and then I'm gonna collect a little bit of Ming Yu too and you know for these eras where they've got four photo cards per version it works out so nicely because I can just like put the four photo cards together and not have to like think about it too much right but I mean it's just <laughs> just did not work out that way right but it's fine and I'm gonna figure it out we're gonna figure out together today I suppose but I don't know it was nice for uh, the time I had with the four pockets and the F5 binders and I'm still gonna keep the F5 binders for some things but in general it's just like there's just like too many cards to fit in there nicely right without me thinking oh I'm go am I gonna damage this like you know so is it gonna be sick on my photo cards and I don't want to have to like be scared of that right I just want to enjoy my collection you know like that works out so nicely for semicolon right whereas in the nine pockets not gonna be as satisfying but uh I don't know. I think I'm, I worked some stuff out, so we will see. I've been thinking about how I'm going to do my layouts, but I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to take it one step at a time.
and yeah basically like switching from the four pockets to the nine pockets it's really gonna make me rethink how i collect pre-order benefits and stuff like that because obviously like in a four pocket having two photo cards that are the same concept just works like so nicely because like everything is like symmetrical and like it looks like a cohesive like full page but when you put it in a nine pocket then it's just like okay like am i gonna do like an eight pattern for everything that i have no i don't want that right so i don't really know and then <laughs> the reason i didn't want to switch to a nine pocket binder as well is because i know it's like too tempting for me to start collecting a third member and you know what <laughs> listen I'm only going to add a third member to a page if it makes sense uh, to have two members on a page, right? So for example, when they start doing the With Us album versions, I'm going to start collecting three members for that instead of two, you know, you know. And the thing with like collecting a third member is that I don't really have a very stable like 17 bias line. Like, Minghao and Mingyu are, like, only, like, the two, like, stand out to me where I'm, like, these are my biases and then that's it. But, uh, obviously, if I want to collect three members, I'm, like, am I going to collect, like, who would be in my bias line at that point in time? Do I collect, like, you know, how do I do it? Because at some point, uh, S-Groups was, like, in my bias line and then was Jonghan. And then, um, Face the Sun happened, and I was like, oh my god, Wanu? <laughs> so, you know, uh, I'm sure that in my next comeback, it's going to be someone else, right? But, so I decided that I don't re like, it's not, if, how do I say this? I don't mind if I collect a different member for, like, different eras, right? But that the member I will try to aim for is going to be DK. Just because I think it's just so satisfying <laughs> to have 97 line. And then obviously it does like one vocal team, one performance team, and one uh, hip-hop team, right? So I'm like, it just works like so nicely. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so... These are some Japanese photo cards, also dream comeback very soon, but yeah, I don't have many Japanese photo cards and I don't really know how I want to go forward with my Japanese collection, so I'm going to leave those in the A5 binder for now. And yeah, the other thing about the A5 binders is like, I don't want to waste the supplies that I put into having these binders, right? So I still want to be able to like use them somehow, right? So we will see how it goes. But yeah, look at that. Like face the sun and a node were like <laughs> was so nice in the four pocket binders, right? Like in the A5 binders. And I started separating obviously like by eras and stuff. Order eras in one binder, these eras in another and I could continue that way, but I just feel like this is like face this and only, right? Like I don't even have any sector 17 in there yet. And I just feel like it's just, I can't be buying like mini binder after mini binder, like per era, right? So I don't know. Obviously I was very hyped about the mini binders and I think that they really serve their purpose. I still love them for smaller collections but my 17 collection is just too out of hand for this and i feel like i keep rambling and saying the same thing but it's just not viable and i didn't like having all of those mini binders like stacking together like trying to store them like i felt like things were gonna get damaged so yeah this is still like one of my favorite like four pocket ever like so cute oh my god my heart is in shambles i 
I also have a link to all of the supplies that I use in my description. So worry not. <laughs> Like, I felt so smart for putting those together. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> now I'm just like, okay, I guess. <laughs> And then I had uh, some, this is like, only face the sun. Isn't that insane? <laughs> and I didn't even collect that many product benefits. But yeah, I had started uh, putting things together for sector 17. Uh, but yeah, I actually have everything on hand. I just <laughs> haven't put things together yet. But it's chill. And then the last stack is going to be non-album photo cards, which for non-album things, uh, I'm going to be splitting things up a little bit where I'm going to have uh, some stuff that's going to go in the nine pockets and then some stuff that's going to stay in the, f stay in the four pockets as well. Yeah, this is gonna stay in this binder um i'm gonna be resorting everything because i had double double sleeve some stuff so it would take less space but now that i only have like these random things in the binders i think that i will uh you know have everything i, I will be able to have this take more space and yeah that's the stack of non-album stuff so there's way less of that, obviously, right now, but, you know, with all the daikon stuff now, I'm like, <laughs> I think that all that uh, is going to expand very quickly. Okay, so I don't even know how many pages I need to put in there, but I assume a lot. So I think I'm just going to take a chunk and just put that in and then uh, I'll take out the excess. Okay, I'm running into a problem that I did not expect is that to put the pages, the pocket pages in, it's so hard because these uh, rings are so thick. It's just like, it's hard to get the pocket pages in and I'm like, I'm scared that it's going to wrap the pocket pages. So I'm going to put the photo cards in, we will see if it helps, if not, I'm going to change the binder and I'm going to return it, but I'm like, after all the effort I've been through <laughs> for this binder, oh my god, but I want to keep it real, so I'm not going to pretend, you know, I did a smart thing, so if I didn't, so let's just move on. And let me start uh, putting some photo cards away because, oh my god, okay. So, as I said earlier, I'm going to start with a node and then, you know, work my way from there. So, how do I want to do this? I guess like this.
And then in the middle, I will either uh, just put a template or I will put one of the many uh, unowed HMV cards and work my way through that. Okay, then for Hope, I do want to get all of the Mingyu cards as well. So, you know, I'm actually going to leave the space for that. And then, okay, I wanted the burial pieces to be together probably. So, I'll do it like this. All right next oh my god did i i put it on the wrong page which I don't have all of the photo cards actually so okay this is gonna go here and then I have the other versions here Okay, then we get into the eras where I need to start thinking, I think. So, okay, we have a semicolon. So these are going to be on one page with these. And then I think what I wanted to do was put... These? Okay. I think that's the vision I had. Um, okay, I had to put white pay, uh, white sleeves behind those because this Minghao PC otherwise. So this is the front and this is the back. So the actual direction is this, which I don't like it. So <laughs> I did it like this, but then I think that I'll take this sleeve out of there. This is also an HMV PC, so bear with me, it will make sense, I think. So, you know, like it can be symmetrical because I don't want uh, things otherwise to just be like, I don't know, in like random orders, I don't like that. So I'm gonna go like this. Okay, and then I'm guessing something like that and then this I think that was uh, uh, what I wanted to do I don't even know right we can have these here and then we just have the roof of menus which is cute and then we can have that here and then we can have it like this I suppose all right so I think that's very cute and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my vision is that out of all of these, I'm only going to keep these two. And then the other ones, these two, I'm going to put to the side and trade to something else maybe. Because I don't know, it's just, I do just like want to think these will go nice together with all the flowers and then you can just have yeah like this and then if by any sort of miracle i can get the other <laughs> uh ming hao hmv pc where he has the cat thing at the back then that will go in the middle of this page otherwise i think that this is nice but yeah, so I'll be probably trading the other two pieces that I have for this era 
Or maybe just find another PC that can go in the middle. I don't know. But I think they also will look nice. And yeah. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, I think this looks cute. I will be adding all the templates later because <laughs> I'm too lazy to do that now. <laughs> this video is going to be long enough already as it is. Okay, now <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, and this is like high key. I haven't even like gotten all of the pieces for a tiger, but we don't talk about it. I have my favorites. But this is where, like, maybe a third member is going to start appearing. But anyways, this is the two. And then these are all of the carrot version photo cards, which are actually all in order. So, round of applause for that. Actually, if I do it like this, I like it better. <laughs> and then, uh, if I do one, two, three, four, four. Okay, so now I think it makes it more sense uh, aesthetically, but also it still goes in like uh, the order of the numbers. And then I have all of uh, the pre order benefits and whatnot that I have for this. I have this, I have seven cards, I think. I have these, then I have these, okay, is this making sense? Maybe I have all the Mingyus in the middle, high key, <laughs> because it makes sense, yeah, I can do that, but you know, I have this Christmas Mingyu, but I really do want the Minghao equivalent as well, so um, I'm still trying to get that. So if you have it and you're selling it, please let me know. I'll be happy to buy for a decent price, <laughs> but yeah. And then uh, this is actually the Target for the card, and I have the Target PCs for Face the Sun and Sector 17, so I do want to get Mingyu's Ataka Target PC just you know, so I can continue having them for uh, going forward, right? Oh my god, the glare is so bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but this is it. I think it looks cute. I think it looks cute. It'll look better when I have all of the things that I would like to get for a taco, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, then let's go into face this sun, which, oh my god, okay. There is so much. I'm like, I don't even know where to start. Okay. I do have these okay well i do want to put my favorites somehow you know together And then I'll try to find something to put in the middle here as well. Hopefully, I don't know, <laughs> something that's not expensive, but yes. So, this one is my favorite, like, oh my god.
cute. This is a, a Lucky Draw Forming Hell that I'm just gonna put right here and I think it looks very very cute and it matches the bag wow great Oh my god, love that. And then for the carrot version, I have this HMB card, which will be great in the middle. Oh my god, this is so cute. And this one is cute. Okay, I don't really know what the um, thought process for this one was because it's literally <laughs> not uh, a, the same as anything else I've done in the binder, but I don't really care. So, okay, we've got the Weaver Salvans. So, which ones do I want to be in the middle row? The outside ones, probably. Okay, and this is what a third member is gonna go in, most probably, ha ha ha. Okay, then, oh my god, I have two pages left. In terms of pre-order benefits, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So this I'm gonna keep, okay, one, two, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I don't really want to keep all of these, so I don't know. <laughs> if I... Okay, I'm going to keep this, and I'm not going to keep this. And then... Which one do I keep? This one or this one? I don't know. This one, I think. And then I guess I'm going to keep these two uh, Lucky Drawers. But I really like these ones as well, so I don't know. <laughs> This is one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. But then, oh my god. Do I even know what I want to do? Okay, I actually think that I'll do it like this. keep this one as well okay isn't that so cute and then oh no that's not what i wanted to do sorry 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 this okay 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 and then Let me think. Okay, I confused myself so much, but I think I'm going to do it like this <laughs> and have uh, them split this way. I think it looks nice. So I'm going to do it this way. But the thing is, I kind of want to get uh, the Wish You Round one. So yeah, 
the problem I have with putting things away like this is that <laughs> this stuff that I know will change because I want to get more stuff. So yeah, um, we will see. There's such a loud truck going by. I'm like, hello. <laughs> and then this goes here. I never really put my cards like facing each other like this, but I, th I like when I see other people do it, I always think that it's really cool. So kind of want to try it out. And if I don't like it, I can change it, right? Yeah, and then if I end up adding other things, then I will rearrange it, but yeah. Here it is. Looks cute, I think. And then I need to add more pages. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with like DVD for the cars, but DVD for the cars obviously I think will change as well because I'm gonna be getting all of Ming House DVD for the cars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But okay, for now it's just gonna be a seven pattern. So let's go, I suppose. This is my favorite Ming House photo card <laughs> ever. But this will obviously be rearranged where, uh, as I get uh, more photo cards, right? Can I not count? Oh my god, I'm dumb. Literally, why not like this? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I can put it like this, I suppose. No. Oh my god. Okay, so this is cute for now but yeah obviously i'll be collecting all the ming hao dvd for the cars as well so that's bound to change and then we have this now i'm very tempted to get the other mingyu for the cars obviously because now that it's in the nine pocket it will look like so much better so yeah okay let's see this will take as well and then oh my god i keep doing this because these pages are too new <laughs> oh my god yeah this is very cute i like this a lot and then yeah i would like to get the other two mingyu pcs and I think it will be uh, very nice. Then I've got these, which I think I'll just have a six pattern and they will be just fine. These are the Daikon, my choice is for the cards. They're so cute, like, oh my God. I do want to get Mingus for this as well, but it's just not a priority. And then I know they had like ordered Daikon, D icon for the cards as well. So maybe I'll put them here to fill up the page. And then there's the new one. Well, now they're going to have like extra uh, things as well. So I don't know how I'm going to do this actually. Okay, so they each have seven. So I think I'm going to do it like this I forgot they had it already <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same for Mingyu then I think this was the Right, and then we've got all of the unit Polaroids that are super cute. And okay, so I'm gonna put this here, and then I guess I'm gonna put these here. Oh, I'll that. And then, oh my god, what's that nice? Okay, mm. this is chaotic. <laughs> This is not in any sort of age order or anything, but I think it looks cute, so I will take it. And then, yeah, that's about it. I just have one extra page that I'll leave for whatever else, you know, 
I have to put in this binder but yeah so this is going to be my 17 binder I feel like this was a very chaotic like rearrangement of things I definitely need to change the binder again because oh my god we hate to see this I'm like I did not realize how big these rings were gonna be and it's not being kind to my uh, sleeves i hope you enjoy this thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you very soon with a sourcing video bye